Hey guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com and I have something really cool to share that is so fascinating when it comes to energy healing and learning how to be more psychic and intuitive and doing psychic readings like for other people. Now, if you're new to this concept, we are all intuitive and we are all psychic. We all have the ability. If you want to get like extra specially psychic and intuitive, you just follow certain meditations. That's what I did. And you get, you kind of train yourself to get into the place where you're actively doing this. Same thing goes for energy work. It's just an applied method that trains you to do this. And um, I've got meditations on my website if you want to check that out to, to learn how to do it. Now, the thing that's so cool with both the psychic work and the energy work is once you get the hang of it, and you realize like you are doing it, which you absolutely can, one of the biggest concepts that both of these fields talk about is then getting out of your own way once you've got it running, stepping back and letting that stuff do what it's meant to do. And I I hope that's not too hard to, to conceptualize, but for instance, there's an energy healing system that I really love called Bangston because it works incredibly, incredibly well on the body and it's continuously tested in laboratory settings. So we have experiments and results to look at to show exactly like how it works and what it does and all that. Um, when you learn Bangston and you start doing it, you do want to like work on animals and people. That's a part of the process, like to see like, can I do it? Is it working? And it's so much fun. FYI, I am hosting a Bangston workshop in April 2023, so check that out. If you can't make it then, there's workshops all the time. It's such a cool method to learn because it helps with manifesting too. Um, once you realize like, okay, I studied this, I learned it, I've got the energy up and running and you're, you're treating somebody, it's important to then step back and just get out of the way and let the energy do its thing. Like to not with your brain, like think about it in effort and like try like, you know, sometimes you'll see it when, when we all start out, like we close our eyes and you'll be like concentrating and like, and that concentration means like you're focusing and you're, you're trying to with the, the thoughts too, like I want it to go here. I want it to do this and that, but that actually is sort of detrimental to the flow of the energy. You know, we talk a lot about how powerful our brains are. So if, or our minds, and if, if our minds are thinking like something like, oh, you know, trying to force something or, or do something, it can actually get in the way of the flow of the energy. Whereas if the mind steps back, you're, you're definitely doing that. You're running the energy and the energy's coming and you're thinking about anything but what you're doing, which is what Bill Bankston teaches you to do. Like Bankston is best if you're, you're just doing the energy, like imagine there's somebody here and I'm doing the energy and then having a conversation about something completely different. And that it's, that actually makes it powerful more so than if you're doing the energy and you're like, heal, 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 heal. You know, you see all the effort and the strength. It's like, it's crazy. And I've been taught, I was always trained like you know, push and effort. Like I'm efforting my way through life, which I'm working on learning how to not do that. But you know, it's so funny. It's the same thing as with the psychic stuff. When I'm training students to be psychic and to learn how to do readings for other people, the worst readings that they give are the ones where they get over into their brain and they try to solve the problem with their analytical mind. And then it's like, hey, you're just talking to me like you're yourself. You're not being psychic, dude. You're just, that's not psychic. To be really psychic, you have to step back and let the psychicness, as kooky as it is, and it is different. It is out there. Like the first things you get with psychic work, the impressions, the, with clairvoyance, the pictures and images, they don't make analytical sense because they're not analytical. They don't belong there. That's what makes them so magical. It's like they're outside of that. So with this wonderfulness of psychicness and energy healing we don't need to mess up that awesomeness with trying to push or trying to make anything happen with our brains it's almost like it just does it and we just like observe there's a big thing in psychic teaching observe do not absorb 
and because that can happen but anyway I'm getting a little deep into that but like that's the ultimate thing which I, I just find so fascinating because also when we are opening up to something brand new and it's different it's a lot of people are like can I be psychic am I is this working does energy work am I really cycling with the Bankston image cycling like is it happening there's a tendency to like to then to get behind it and force it like yeah I'm cycling like I'm making it happen I'm psychic I'm I'm giving you advice and it's like no 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 we have to step back and let it do its work it's magic we just have to learn learn the setup and how to get it running and then take a back seat that's cool because the other thing about that and as I'm talking um put in the comments if you're you're thinking about stuff like like with energy work or, or have you noticed anything cool or did you mess up with like psychic stuff and start giving advice like what what's going on with you um with the with Bankston and with the psychic stuff it's sort of like a metaphor for life too because as I'm learning like you you can push and shove and try to like work your way through life and exhaust yourself or you can kind of relax and have an intention and have like an idea of what you'd like to happen of course but also sort of just be in the flow and like allow things to happen without you putting all your sweat blood and tears into it um it's crazy because you know a lot of us there's this whole you gotta work hard you gotta really struggle you gotta like put your back into it you gotta show me that you're toiling away here and then the universe is like no no no, you don't really need to toil here you, you can relax the energy is going to be more powerful if you're just relaxing and letting it happen um, crazy cool so if you're as excited about Bangston as I am come to the workshop if you can't come to this one come to another one um, it's so much fun it's so cool because it really 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 works um, I think that sums it up for this video so thanks so much for being here and I'll see you next time bye